Okay. Hey, everybody. All right. I need to get my notes up here. So happy Monday. We are having a business call. <laughs> and what we're going to be talking about tonight is maintaining your points versus growing your points versus moving backwards. Okay. So first I just want to, and Victoria and I are going to kind of tag team this because this is something we've been talking about a ton and we both had like tons of thoughts. I'm like, let's just tag team it. So Victoria, like whenever you want to jump in, just like jump in, you know, unmute, cut me off. Cause you know, I can just talk. So <laughs> we're going to just get into it. Um, okay. So first of all, I would just love to get your guys permission to just be honest and candid. So if you are cool with that, with just me, just saying it like it is just put something in the comment in the chat, just so I know, like we're good. And if you're not cool with that, it's fine, but this just might not be the call for you <laughs> tonight. Okay. So, all right, good. Just wanted to make sure we have permission because you know, I love you guys so much. And all I want for you is to grow and flourish and have all your goals realized, right? Like that's what I want for you. And so sometimes we have to like dig into things and break things down. So I know a goal is to grow your points, right? Like we all want to reach different levels, hit different goals. Um, and it doesn't matter where you're starting at. Some of you may be like, okay, I don't have anyone on my team, or I just have one or two people. And some of you are like, I'm going for Emerald this year. These things apply to all of us, but grab on to wherever you're at right now. And it's like about taking the next step and doing the next thing. Okay. So we are going to be talking about, um, the winning day. And I have shared this with you guys in our chats. If you're not familiar, I will absolutely, um, send it to you and you can ask me for it, but winning day is basically like, um, an IPA or income producing activities for each day, kind of working your business. And there's also a winning week worksheet to kind of set up your week. Um, so I will screen share and just show them to you quickly. I'm not going to screen share the whole time because I want to be able to see you guys, but okay. So you can see winning day, right? I'm going to go through each of these activities and we're going to talk about what maintains your points versus what grows your points. Okay. So you guys can see winning week right here, right? I think I just shared like one of my screens. So events, coaching calls, welcome calls, our Monday night book study. Okay. The other one is winning day. You just did winning day, Britt. I oh, mean, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Hold on. I want to show you everything on my screen. Okay. This is easier for me. Okay. So winning week. Now you can see everything on my screen, right? So winning week, um, this is kind of looking at your overall week coming up events. So we're going to talk about each category here, coaching calls, welcome calls, our Monday night, um, calls book study, the Plexus book study, and then kind of keeping track of things for the week. So this is kind of like overarching for the week and then winning day. This is like your everyday worksheet. Not that you have to work seven days a week, but every day that you're working your business, these are the things. So we're going to talk through each of these. Getting social, like what does that look like? What, what are we doing on social media? 60 minutes, let's make money. Talking about the products and the business. And then there's a spot for retention, for leadership, and for personal development. Okay, so hopefully you're familiar with these. If not, totally can send them to you. Um, so just ask. But okay. I think we sometimes have a misconception over the things that we're doing and thinking that they are growth activities, but they are really maintenance activities. Okay. So we're going to break them down. And I want to first preface this with the fact that if you are maintaining your points, that is a sign that you are actually working very hard, right? Because attrition or like losing customers is huge in this industry, right? Like there's always going to be attrition. It's always going to be something that we are kind of swimming upstream against. Um, I know Jen Leith explains it sometimes as like a bathtub with a drain open. Okay. Like we have this pool of customers, but some are always going to be leaving. And I just want you to know that's normal. Like you are not doing anything wrong. If you occasionally have people quit on you, it is okay. It is totally normal. Yeah. Don't take it personally. I think a really healthy mindset is to realize that some people are going to come to us and be customers for a season, and then they're going to move on or they're going to do something else. And it's okay. It doesn't mean you did a bad job. So if you are maintaining your team, you are doing an amazing job. Okay. I just want you to know, I see you that are maintaining and holding your rank or, you know, you're around the same points, but you're steady. 
you are working. If you are maintaining, you are working. And so I want you to kind of give yourself credit, give yourself a pat on the back. Even if you're like, oh, I haven't ranked up or I'm not where I want to be. If you are maintaining, that is evidence that you are working. Okay. So for mindset purposes, please realize that maintaining is a sign of hard work. You are doing a great job. Okay. But for growth, there's some things that you need to be doing consistently for an extended period of time. That's the winning day worksheet, right? In order to see growth. And guys, I really believe that diamond in this company just equals consistency plus time, just consistently doing the winning day plus time. And that time is going to be different depending on your current level of influence, right? So people that come in with a ton of influence, it may take them a less, you know, a shorter period of time. If you have to build influence and build your network, it may take you longer. It doesn't really matter, right? If you're consistently showing up and you're giving it time, you will eventually be a diamond in this company. Um, but growth, to see growth, we have to be doing the daily and the weekly things consistently. And if we're not, we just can't expect growth. Nothing on those worksheets is unimportant. They're all very, very important. And just mindset wise, it's not just about hitting emerald or hitting diamond. Okay. There are people that like crank out and they hit the 4,500 points and they don't have stability in their business. Right. And we don't want to hit the rank, whatever the goal rank is, and then bottom out. Right? That is not the goal. The goal is to build stability, long-term stability for your business. Um, and in order to create that stability, it's really doing these things consistently, like five days a week, if you really want to grow or, you know, two or three days a week, if you just kind of want to get things off the ground slowly, but you are building a legitimate business. So imagine that you purchased a franchise, right? You bought a Chick-fil-A, you bought a Subway, you bought whatever, pick your franchise. Okay. First of all, it would cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy it. Do you guys know that? Like to buy a franchise, like hundred thousand dollars minimum, if not more. So huge buy-in. And then you would have a huge checklist of hard things that you had to do weekly, daily, monthly to get your business off the ground, like non-negotiable. You'd have to do the things or your franchise is not going to make it. This is the same kind of thing, but loads easier. And you can get the same return on investment. Like you can be making crazy money with Plexus if we just have that like business mindset. And it's not about hustle and grind. You can do these things and still maintain your balance, your harmony in your home, all the things. Okay, so we're gonna break down each category and get specific here. So I'm gonna talk about each category and we're gonna decide whether it's a maintenance activity or a growth activity. And I think this is really eye-opening when you dig into it. So that first section of 30 minutes getting social. Okay, social media, posting, commenting. Guys, this is a maintenance activity. And you might be like, what? <laughs> this is a maintenance activity. It is really, really important. And if you're brand new, then for right now, like if this is the first thing you're stepping into right now, this is going to be a growth activity for you. But if you've been here a while, and most of you have, this is actually a maintenance activity, expanding your network, commenting on people's posts that will maintain your points, right? Because you're showing up, people see what you're all about. You have a consistent message, um, creating content. All of that is maintenance. I just want to be clear that posting on social media does not equal working a business right? It is a piece of it. It's super important. And if you're just getting started, it's often the first step into working your business and it can be really scary. And so it's that really important first step. But if that's all you ever do, you're not really working your business, right? And I see a lot of people like have big goals for their business, but all they're willing to do is post. And it just, it's just not going to get you there. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm delivering the tough love, but Social media is not our business. It's a little sliver of it. It's not the whole thing, right? Okay, so that's a maintenance activity. Your valuable content that you're creating gives validity to your IPA. In other words, when you message someone or you have a conversation with someone about Plexus, they're like, oh yes, I've seen you show up about this. I've seen you add value on social media. I see that you're about wellness. It validates the conversations you're having. So posting is huge. It's super, super important, but don't let it be the whole thing. Okay. So those social media activities, they are maintenance. Um, 
Okay, moving into the next category, the 60 minutes of, um, it says, let's make money. <laughs> Obviously, these are going to be growth activities. It says literally, let's make money. So your IPA, income producing activity, talking to people about the products and the business. These are your new contacts. When you are having conversations, it ensures that your funnel is always going to be full, right? So we have this funnel and guys, it's a numbers game. The more conversations you're having, the more customers you're going to bring into your business. Okay. So more conversations, more people signing up, less conversations, less people signing up. And that's just how it works. It's just a numbers game. Um, so we have to be keeping that funnel full. If your funnel is full of new conversation, then you'll always have people to follow up with. And the follow-ups is where the growth is. Okay. So I think your just conversations you're starting, that's a maintenance activity, but following up, making the ask, right? Asking people, do you want to do this with me? That's where you're going to see growth. That is a growth conversation you're having. Um, and bringing up the business is huge. Absolutely huge. Okay. You have to create new level one business builders. Me, you, Alita, everyone needs to be creating new level one business builders. So I know talking about the business with people is often like the scarier part of doing IPA, but again, it's a numbers game. So about 10% of people that you engage with or like put it out there are going to be open to having a conversation with you and joining you. Okay. 10%. So if you muster up the courage to have one business conversation per month, it's going to take you 10 months potentially to find a new business builder, right? One conversation a month, 10%. Okay. 10 months. I'm going to get one. But if you are talking to 10 people a week, instead of, you know, one person a month, you see how you can attract business builders quicker. So, you know, it's great. If you're stepping into it, just figure out what am I able to do with my current life, with the time that I have but be intentional. It's, it's better to have one solid conversation with someone about the business than to just cold message a hundred people. So yeah, Victoria, go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say that to when we say like reach out about the business that number one, it doesn't have to be somebody brand new. Maybe it's somebody that's loving the products, but you just haven't mentioned the business to them yet that can be a new person that you reach out to. Um, and also like Brittany was saying, you know, make sure that you're not just messaging a bunch of people because similarly, if you had a brick and mortar business or anything, like I even take it back to my teacher days when I would interview teachers and, um, be on panels for that. Like I didn't just go out and be like, I want you, 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 like we were very selective. So make sure that you're doing the same thing with, you know, this, this procedure, this messaging system, if you will. And then there was one other thing I was going to say, now I'm losing it. Um, oh, I love, okay. So this kind of came from Brittany Howard, by the way, but she did mention that, you know, life happens, life happens to all of us. And so in a business, when you have builders, things are going to come up unfortunate circumstances. And so if you, there might be a season where maybe that leg of your team isn't providing the way that they used to, and that's okay. There's nothing that we can do about it. So that's where it's really important. If you're consistently reaching out about the business, then you have those other people, those other legs. I mean, I literally picture a stool, right. To help support you and your business. So I love that because life will happen. It's happened to all of us. It gets really messy. And so it's really important to pursue those new conversations. Yes. Yeah. And Shannon said, just don't stop at one ask. Right. I was just telling Coralie earlier today that like, sometimes people need to see something like seven to 10 times before they feel comfortable. Right. And so we like muster up the courage to like throw it out there. And we're like, Oh my gosh, I did it done. Like check them off. But no, like they actually need, like, they don't believe that they're capable of doing it. And so you have to keep telling them, like, I know you'd be amazing at this, like keep pouring belief into people both with the products and with the business, right? People need to hear it more than once. So yeah, it has to be an ongoing conversation. So in these IPA sheets, in this winning day, this is the first place where it's actually a growth activity. Okay, so social media, maintenance, super important. Um, having conversations about the business, that is a growth activity. 
um, reaching to reaching out to people about the products is both a maintenance and a growth activity. And then moving over to retention. Okay. That retention category. This Can is like, main- Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. So for me, and I bet a lot of you can relate like on Mondays, don't you feel fired up, especially after getting off power hour, maybe like Monday is your day to reach out to those five to 10 people just in that one day, because you're already fired up. And then like, say you reach out to one person Monday, they say no, then now you're in your head for Tuesday, then they don't respond. Then, then by Wednesday, you're like, well, I'm probably just going to put it off till Friday. And then Friday comes and you never do it. So you could do it all when you are super fired up. And I have been doing this and it makes a world of difference. Yeah. I love that. Shannon, go ahead. You had something to say too. Yes. Sorry. I didn't want to cut you off, Um, but I just was going to share um, that my girl who just recently added her first person was a zoom call that me and Brittany did last May. Okay. Last May. And I've been asking her to do events, not every single month, but I've asked her like when it comes up and I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask her again, (laughs) a couple, you know, months go by, I'm going to ask her again, do post, do a, an event, something. And she kind of was always like in conversation with me about it. She never said no. Um, but it took all that time for her to finally let me do an event for her and for her to get her first person. And now like she's working towards going silver this month, hopefully cheer for us. Um, but just like, it could take a long time. Like we want it, we want to send the message and we want them to say yes. And we want them to sign up three people right that day, but that's just not logical. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it happens. It's amazing when that happens, but it's not how it usually happens. It usually takes way longer Mm -hmm. than that. So just stick with it. Keep talking about it. Keep bringing it up in different ways, sharing the graphics we have, sharing the different incentives, Somebody might not care about an iPod or iPad, but maybe they care about the Lululemon gift card. You know what I mean? There's all these Mm -hmm. things that Plexus puts out there for us to get people's attention to do the business with us. So don't give up. Yes. Great. Great message. Um, Yes, guys. And as leaders, like trying to build a business here, look beyond the incentives of the month, right? Like Shannon just said, like, it's about long-term stability in your business. Um, I was telling someone else today, like the incentives are just icing, like, they're just icing on the cake, like nice icing, like that iPad 10, nice icing, like <laughs> I want it too. But like, it's so much more about long-term stability. Like Plexus can do so much more for your family with a monthly consistent full-time paycheck that you can go buy an iPad every month if you want to, right? Like that's the long-term stability you want to look for. So go for the incentive, but also like be committed to just I'm, I'm chipping away at my business. I'm doing something to move the needle every single day. Okay. So moving on to that retention section, this is a maintenance activity. Retention is maintenance. This is your customer care. This is onboarding people. This is sending subscription reminders before people's orders go out. If you're not doing these things, your points will go down. Okay. You will not maintain your points will go down. If you are not taking care of your customers, we are huge on this team, our team of taking care of our customers and being amazing at retention. It is so important. So, so important that we don't just bring people in, but we take care of them. We educate them. We let them know before an automatic order comes. This is a maintenance activity, but it is critical. Okay. So don't miss that, that retention piece. I think we do a fantastic job um, at retention. Next section, personal development. This is getting on power hour. This is the Plexus book club. This is here on team call. Okay. These are actually growth activities may not feel like it, right? It doesn't always feel like it. It's kind of like going to the gym for the first time, right? You do that workout. You don't walk past the mirror and be like, whoa, look at that. I see immediate results. No, it takes time, right? Definitely takes time. But over time, personal development is a growth activity because it's going to make your content better, right? Like when you're learning and taking things in, it gives you things to say and things to teach your team and things to post on social media. It's going to make your content better and it's going to make your leadership better. Okay. Because as you're bringing people in, you're looking for business builders, you got to lead them, right? That's, that's the next step that you grow into is leadership. Um, so personal development is a growth activity. It takes time. You're not going to see anything right away, but it is super, super important. Um, yeah, Shannon, I love that. Can't coach you if you aren't reading something. So true. Okay. And then that next section, leadership, this is also a long-term growth activity. 
Okay. If we're leading others well, we're growing our legs of our team. Like Victoria said, it's like a stool, right? We're keeping those legs strong. That is definitely a growth activity. So those are all on the winning day sheet. Looking over at the winning week sheet, um, one of the sections on there is events. Doing events is a growth activity. Okay. You are going to get new joins and you're going to attract business builders if you are running events. Um, and guys, if you want to grow, you really want to be running an event monthly. Okay. That's you running an event monthly. Yes. We have things to plug into as a team, but just meeting people at a coffee shop, opening your home, inviting someone over. It does not have to be fancy or huge or expensive or anything, but we are in a post pandemic climate where people want to be in person, right? Like we had the whole pandemic time where like we were jamming with virtual events, right? Everyone was on their phones all the time. Now everyone's kind of tired of it. They want to see and taste and touch the product. And when you do an event and someone else buys, it automatically increases the perception of value for everyone else there, right? So if Sally is like, oh my gosh, this is a great deal in the welcome pack, then Nicole's like, oh my gosh, this is a great deal. Like I need to buy it too. And it, that's what happens with group events. So in-person events are huge. If you can't do an in-person event, then go virtual, like do something, but have something going on at least once a month. Um, and that's definitely a growth activity. Um, Victoria, you have been really committed to in-person events. Do you have anything you want to add to that? I'll just say that if people don't show up, then just show up anyway. And I think that's so important. And again, don't take it personally. Like people are very busy. I know a lot of us are in a season where we're like chauffeuring children every which way, every single day of the week. But I think just being really intentional about having those times and then also thinking about, okay, who do I want to invite to this event? It doesn't have to be everybody every single time. Maybe it's like your church mom's group or your mom's whatever, your church group, you know, maybe it's your your kids' friends or their moms, whatever. Just be really intentional and just show up anyway and um, be there and use that time if no one does show up to reflect and plan the next event and, you know, just keep doing it. Exactly. Take pictures of the products you sat out and use them on social media, right? That's what Alicia did the one time. Like you just find a way to make it profitable for you. Nicole, did you want to share? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're advertising for these two and just not putting up the graphic, like when I went live before the event that I did in um, last month, um, no one showed for this event, but I signed up three people from it in last month, but then I've signed up more this month just by people saying, Hey, I can't make it to this, but I really want to try it. Can you send me a sample? Mm -hmm. And it was because I was showing up daily in my stories talking about it as well. So I just feel like that is really, really fruitful to keep showing up in the stories too. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Victoria, one more tip. Go. <laughs> Good. Okay. One more tip. What I've been doing for some of these two is create a Facebook event, like a group. And if people can't come, plug them into this group and just do an online event. If they say, I can't come because my daughter has danced, we have karate, then just say, oh, you know, I get it. I understand. Let me plug you into this online event that I'm going to have and just run an online event. And if you're new, that's fine. Like go come to your sponsor. We can help you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I would say my main tip for events is put it on the calendar. If it's on the calendar and you start inviting, you have to show up. <laughs> That's the best way to make it happen is just figure it out later, but put it on the calendar now and start inviting people. Um, Cause I, yeah, the people that are growing like crazy are doing events. And someone said, look at Amber, Amber, who's my upline right above us on our team. She has two new fast start rubies. Okay. Fast start Ruby. Like that doesn't happen very often Two on her team because of in-person events. That's literally all they do. They just do an in-person event every week. And if you sign up, then next week you bring your friends and you bring your friends and it's wash, rinse, repeat. Like you can just see how the duplication happens. So really, really cool. Okay. So in-person events, really huge. Next section on the winning week is I'm um, doing coaching calls. So again, if you are working with people who are also growing a team under you, work with them, coach them, do it together. It's not like you have to know everything, but just like connect and see like, okay, what are we going to do together this week? We both want to grow. 
That's a growth activity. Again, it takes time. It's a long-term growth activity to be working with your business builders. There's another section that says welcome calls. I like to call these unboxing calls. This is hopping on the phone with your new customer that just got their products and your upline. So for example, if Alicia has a new customer, Alicia, her new customer, and me, hop on the phone. We do a 10 minute call. We just show excitement for her that she just got her products, make sure she knows how to use them. And we have the two-part conversation as Jen Viev calls it, but that's when it says like, did you ask the magic question? It's just asking the person like, Hey, are you interested in getting your products paid for? Or, Hey, do you know anyone else that would want to do this with you? Right. Just having a conversation that opens the door for them to say, yes, they're interested in sharing, right? It's so simple, but that is a growth activity. Those unboxing calls are growth activities because they're doing retention for you because you're onboarding properly and duplication because you have the opportunity to present the opportunity in a very simple way um, to all of your new customers. Okay. So unboxing calls are awesome. They do not take a long time, literally 10 minutes. Okay. And then there is that personal growth section of team call and the Plexus book club. Again, long-term growth activities because you have to be growing and developing as a network marketing professional. And that's how we do those things. Okay. So guys, two minutes left, just reflect, are you doing the things right? Again, it's not about hustle. It's not about, I can't sleep tonight if I don't check every box, but it is being honest with yourself, looking at that winning day and saying like, did I do something in each category today? If I worked my business today, there's days you can take off, right? On Tuesdays, I have co-op with my kids all day. I do the bare minimum on Sundays. I'm at church all day. I do the bare minimum, but every other day when I sit down, I'm pulling up that winning day or winning week worksheet. And I know those are the things that's moving the needle. It's not scrolling social media. It's not sitting here. What do I do? It's not creating graphics, right? It's doing those things. So take a look at it. You know, are you showing up? Are you doing the things that move the needle? It is work and it's really hard at times, but it is worth it. You can literally build full-time income working from home a couple hours a day. Like it's crazy. So we're not going for hustle. We're just going for diligence. Okay. And I truly believe that we have to rely on the Lord for our strength to do all the things we've got like a hundred children represented between all of you guys. Okay. It's not always easy. We need the Lord's strength, but I really feel like we've been given an opportunity and we don't want to waste it. Right. We want to be diligent and just be a good steward of this opportunity that we've been given. So, okay, one more minute. Any final thoughts or questions? I just want to say real quick, I think it's really important, just like Brittany said, that truly you have to fill your cup up, okay? You have to make time to do that because otherwise then you run into that hustle mode. That's when burnout happens. So find the fun in it, find the balance, uh, find the rhythm, right? Because there's no true balance. <laughs> right. There's something that's either giving or taking, but just truly find, find joy and find things that fill your cup that also are not plexus. Okay. We are humans outside of plexus so that when you do sit down to do this, you are all in. Yes. So good. Okay. I'm going to pop the winning day and winning week worksheet in our chat again. So if you don't have it, it will pop up for you, save it somewhere, go back to it. It's good stuff. And you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Have a great week guys.